Hello everyone and welcome to today's class. Today I will be teaching you how to create a trailer using iMovie. In iMovie you can create professional quality movie trailers using your own videos and photos. You will soon find out that trailer is super easy to use, especially if you do not want to mess around with the blank iMovie template. So without further ado, let's get started. First you want to open up your application. The plus button on the top right hand side is used to create one of two different projects. The trailer will be your only focus for today. So click on trailer. You can create a new trailer by choosing one of the Apple Design trailers, trailer genres that come with iMovie. Each template includes graphics and theme music as a backdrop for your own videos and photos. This process isn't linear. You can add videos and photos and modify on screen titles in any order that you like until the trailer is just the way you want it. The cool part about the template is that it tells you exactly what kind of shots to pick out and to create and to pick out to create an epic Hollywood style movie trailer. Let's preview some of the different categories. The only thing you can't edit in the trailer is the music that it uses and the backdrop. If you were using the original iMovie blank space, you could edit it however you like, but the music that comes with here is just what you get. You can see all these different ones. We're going to be using, let's just use family. Click create trailer. The trailer template includes a number of placeholder titles. The titles appear on on-screen text in your trailer. You can customize them so they fit the story you're telling with your video and photos. You can edit the animated text in the outline tab. The storyboard tab tells you exactly what kind of shots to to insert. For example, you can insert a 1.7 second clip of a landscape, but it doesn't always have to be a landscape. This is your trailer. You can put whatever picture or video that you want on it. You just be fun and creative. It's really fun and easy to use. Let's go back to the outline tab so we can get hit. Go ahead and get started on editing. In the outline tab, the plus or minus allows you to have more or less people. For example, more characters. If you want more cast members, you can add as many as you like. Change their names. Oh no, it just gives you six. You can only have six max. Only you want two, so let's delete these. I'm going to go ahead and stick with Tyler and Sadie. Change your name. My theme is just going to be animals, so. Animals on the loose. Just keep that way it is. I had already used this before, so I changed the studio name to JCC Productions. You can put whatever you like. Let's change the logo style. I want a dandelion, so let's stick with the dandelion. The credits, uh, you can edit that however you want. I'm just going to leave it as me. Let's go ahead and edit the storyboard. You can insert your pictures videos want to capture your own video through you can do that or take a video the photos preloaded and video so I'm going to use what I have I can say you don't have to use a picture of a landscape but I happen to have one right here so let's just do that Tyler I'm going to insert a video for Tyler so you can see 
see that he is my little cute monkey friend. This is only 1.8 seconds, so that's why this shows you. You can drag right here to pick which scene you want. I'm going to just try to get one by himself. So let's try that. You can preview by clicking on it and click play. Shows you. That's Tyler. I'm not sure if I want to put it. Let's go. And there's Sadie. So now, just gonna start putting random pictures. Doesn't even matter. It's just a, my pictures are not gonna make any sense of what the story tells. That's why you edit your own, be creative, and have fun with it. Landscape, let's put landscape. Like you said, I don't have to put landscape, you can put whatever you want. Action shot, that's why. Go ahead and put a little action video. Let's have them running. It's only 0.7 seconds. Let's go back to the picture. I'm just gonna go ahead and put pictures. I'm not gonna worry about putting more videos. It takes too much time to try to decide. This is actually really fun when you get to create your own trailer for a class, a project, or even family and friends you can create your own videos. It's really easy. Everything is already preloaded. You just add everything that you need. If throughout the process you have questions, you can always click the question mark button up here. That tells you exactly what these buttons do. If you go to an outline tab, it tells you right here. Like it says tap storyboard to add clips. I remove cast members. It's really helpful. You basically just have to play around yourself so you can get an idea of how to use everything. So everything is already hooked up. You can... Okay, so now you're done with your project and you want to know what you can do with this video. So, the way you exit out of this screen everything done just double check to make sure you click the arrow button on the top and now you have a couple different options you have a play button right here that will simply play your trailer you can preview the trailer when you're editing it um, along the way or you can just preview it at the end and you can see right here I really wish the music would play Okay, so previews your trailer. You have the share button. You can share it with iMovie, Facebook, email it. Usually, you can just save your video, save them to your gallery, and can share it that way as well. It will always stay in your iMovie gallery as well. You can delete it if you want to with this can edit if you're not, you weren't satisfied with your video or you want to change a couple things just go back and change with the arrow button it saves your changes and yeah so this is basically that and this is a little preview wraps up the preview trailer how to create a trailer in iMovie for iPad Hope that it was helpful and that you would be able to create more amazing trailers on your own like I said before it just practice makes perfect so play around with it a little bit and do your own stuff that's how you're gonna get better at it it'll help you understand whenever you're ready to move forward to use the actual iMovie playing template it'll help you a little bit because some of the buttons and ideas are the same so just play around with it
Thank you.